Remember when you was a little kid and you wanted to do what you wanted to do? But mom and dad weren't having that. And they told you what you was going to do, right? But in the back of your mind, you always had stuff you wanted to say. But you never did. Because you knew that. Well, on this podcast... We don't know no more. Welcome to our voice, First Amendment. You can say whatever the fuck you want to say. Let me Let's get it. So now we're going to cover the evolution of the black church. <laughs> what they used to do what the two versus what they do now. Well, I'm trying not to do the same thing, thank you. <laughs> oh, God. So you uh, want to speak on this one? This one kind of no, don't try to put this on me. After. Don't try to put this uh, on me. Don't try to put this on me. It's our voice, not my voice. Right. Our voice. <laughs> and the, even the flyers say, his view, her view. They well, I tell you what. Well, let's just start off by saying it's ran totally different now. Yeah. And when I say ran, yeah. it's more of a business. That's and it, that's crazy to me. I mean, don't get, what happened to being a place of worship, you know, a place of revenue? You know what I'm saying? It's not that no more. It got me so to the point now. You, you got ATM machines. The pastor has bodyguards. I just heard a story the other day talking about it. And, and I'm, let me touch on that a little bit mm-hmm. because I made mm-hmm. a, a post and, and I meant what I said. Anytime that you have to turn over your tax paper your tax forms wow. to your church for any reason. Wow. That should be a red flag that that's a problem. Oh, Who all you need to count your money after the IRS? Oh, they already oh, count it before you. Oh, 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 oh. So what sense does it make? Tell me tell me why and, and who oh, said oh, bring oh, the tax form oh, to oh, the pastor's accountant of the church? Oh, 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 oh. That's crazy to me. And they fill it out for you. I've even heard of some churches that give you a portion of, it's like they paying you 10% of your own tax refund. Huh? Which is what I said. Where did I lose you? You lost me a long time ago. Well, you ain't lose me. I I, agree with everything you say, but that whole situation got me lost. Because like you said, it's just, it's crazy. When, yeah, I, I want listen, when, when I tell you that I got people too. got tidy, what I learned about tidy from my, from my church, from when from my came from a little girl up, tidy was ten percent of your earning, right? Ten percent of your, your gross income. Your gross income, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is fine. Household income, and that's fine. Not just personal. But supposedly. what did? What did they do in the Bible days? It wasn't always monetary. Right, 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 right. It was, it, it was, it was fruit. It was vegetables. Yeah. It was water. Sacrifice. It was sacrifice. It was speaking of the good news of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And now you everything is yeah. monetary. You and the ten percent didn't necessarily have to go to the church that you was attending. Like, for example, if you wanted to pay uh, building uh, bonds. Oh no, let's say you, you met um, your neighbor about to get evicted and you pay her rent and that equaled up to your 10% that you would have used to pay your tithe. But instead of paying that 10% to the church, you took that tithe and paid it to the goodwill of helping somebody else. To me, me, I feel like that's tithing. It is. I, I agree with you well, on it that. Be, and guess what? And guess what I'm not going to do? When I go to church that Sunday of the week that I just helped somebody, I ain't going to tell the pastor that I paid my 10% somewhere else doing something else with it. I don't owe him right. an explanation. Right. No, right, 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 right. Anytime you go to he ain't no having time. to God's explain to yourself to the pastor of what you do in your household and then what that's you're doing problem. with your tithing, that's a problem. I think it's a problem that the pastor has enough nuts to even ask a grown man some shit like that. Because I'm going to tell you, that's, see, that's why I ain't in nobody's church though. Cause they couldn't ask me no shit like that. Nobody. You ain't ain't another man finna ask me about my what what's coming in my household. I give you what I want to give you. 
Cause my you, he's not the one temple, passing out the blessings. Well, my thing is the tip. The Bible ain't never said that tip. All that whole tip said had to be spent in one place. Negro, my mama told me don't never spend all your money in one place. So you need to get out of my face and worry about <laughs> some other shit. Cause I gave you what I wanted you to have. And, and I say that to say this: I could, I could spread that ten percent out among five different churches if I wanted to. Right, and you don't owe your pastor. I don't owe nobody nothing. An explanation. I owe, I owe God an explanation if I don't do pay my tithe. That's it. That but I he already sees all and knows all anyway. So nobody. Who came nothing. up with this this elaborate theory that you have to go back and report to your pastor or what you do and how you spread out your ten percent? Who came up with that? And I who made that, it right? I actually didn't know that they had to do that. But I honestly, man, I ain't been... I, in, some churches definitely... Let me tell you something. I, have I haven't seen, had a church home in almost 20 years. Let me tell you I went to a, a church in Atlanta churches, yeah. with uh, yeah. one of my friends. And we were getting out of the car. And I heard something go... <laughs> and I'm like, you know, I'm taking the hell of that. <laughs> you know, something happened close by and they need the hell of to land. Needless to say, she said, um, oh, that's the pastor just being here. Where well, he was on the chopper, he was in the chopper. He was coming in. Helicopter. helicopter. Nice. No. Hate, no, I ain't hating on him, man. But, but guess what? Saying. Guess what I told her? Yeah. Uh, can, you, can you give me the keys? She said, Mika, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. I said, no, nah, I said, I can't, I can't go in here. It make you wonder if your 10 percent help pay for that shit, because the, the fuel or uh, a jet or a uh, chopper, that's going to cheat. I know. Right, what did y'all like pay him? One million dollar flight. Just the fuel or jet is a million dollars. How many people go to this church? Like, how? How you get. Ain't that many. Last time I checked, the preach ain't had no shoe deal. So, yeah. <laughs> Where that money coming from, buddy? Exactly. I mean, I stayed uh, back, back when. Uh, and not to cut y'all, but back when, um, I don't even like mentioning this person's name, but back when one of my exes, we got, we got a son go, uh, when we stayed in uh, Stockbridge. Um, actually, at the time, Soldier Boy and Gucci Man was my neighbors, because they that, uh, but anyway, right across the street from me, though, was the pastor of uh, New Birth South, right? Now, you talking about a subdivision, and this had to be about 12 years ago. Years ago. Yeah. This is back when it's only going to pop. You talking about 500, 600, 700, to million dollars, multi million dollar home. That's the cheapest home in that subdivision, might have been 475. Um, and you push in. Not one, but uh, two. Got it. Yeah. See, that what happened to fleas and bugs and flies that interrupt my process, my progress. Y'all want to see what happened to y'all? Interrupt my progress. Don't ever interrupt my progress. Understand? Now, what was I saying? I was so busy interrupted by the clock. There ain't nothing but some hate nigga trying to listen in. Didn't want to give up no views, so he wanted to come in as a fly. fly Bro, now what was I saying? About the story. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he pushing not one but two. I know seventy-five to a hundred thousand dollars would be You know what I mean? I ain't hate no, but dude. Ain't had no other job. That's that's what they they not see working. What I'm saying like it's one thing if you was working, or you, even if you had some investments. Like I just go to I, the first thing I said to myself was, "All right, Jermaine, okay, cause the dude cool, he cool. I, I ain't mentioning no name, but cool guy. Um, but." I just couldn't understand how he was able to afford that type of living. I knew how we was able to afford it. But I, I, I just, I'm like, yo, man, you got folks in your church that's giving you a light deal on Sunday. 
You have some churches that pay their they pay their bills for them. They can't feed they um their kids, man. And you live in I, I don't know. I, I, I couldn't say you were doing nothing wrong. I just don't think I don't think I just don't feel like leaders of the flock shouldn't be like for example, I don't think a parent should be flyer than her than their than their kids. If that makes sense. So I don't think a pastor should be pulling up in no hundred fifty thousand dollar vehicle when seventy five thousand dollar worth of jewelry when and then and talk about prosperity and talk about money and stuff when you know the majority of your congregation barely had bus fare money to get to their damn church. And you still take the money. You feel what I'm saying? And you ain't did shit in the community in how long? Because they don't come out. The last, they, they don't. They, they got don't bodyguards out. and shit. And they got, they, no they don't put themselves on this pedestal. And the last time I checked, the Bible said you, you don't. That's not idolize man. I'm not finna idolize you. You need protection from your goddamn self. You don't need no bodyguard for me because I don't want to be around you fake ass anyway. And that's how I feel about. I, I, listen to me. And I'm finna get started on this because I, I got a lot to say. I think most pastors, I can't say all, but most pastors are crooks with a book. That's what I like to call it. That's crook with a book. I have my reasons for it. I have multiple reasons for it. Personal reasons, personal experiences that I've had that uh, I won't share because just to protect other people that may have been involved. Right. But over over my forty years on this on this earth, you talk about a child. I, I mean, I'm a preacher's kid. My mom was an ordained minister and a very powerful woman of God and, and, and a praying woman. And the the ministry that we came up on, that she came up on, was led. The, our bishop was a female, Bishop Phillips. I never forget her. One of the most beautiful and, and beautiful women and people I ever met in my life. And so I was always used to being around powerful praying women of God. And I remember, because you know as a kid, you didn't you want to be in church all the time. But I can remember, man, faithfully being, not only being in church, but going out knocking on people's doors. Uh, back then they called it, uh, what you call it, when, when you go out. Uh, Missionary. Yeah, but they called it something else. Oh, there's another name for uh, I can't think of it. But it's missionary work, basically, when you're going and you uh, go to soul saving, going and knocking on those, trying to... Uh, see, I didn't come in that type of uh, environment of the church all the time. Well, see, I did, man. Jehovah Witnesses, that's what they do. They they, uh, well, nah, they stay on ground. Nah, like, nah, we used to... Nah, because see, the thing is, I, and then the church I came from, I, it was a uh, Christian non-denomination, so I, I don't have no back... No Baptist background in that is full gospel, mm -hmm. Christian non denomination. But one thing that uh, our uh, church believed in was embracing, not only embracing our environment in our community, but trying to be a pillar for that environment in our community and, and, and also help advance the people in that community and to pray over those people and to lead as many people in that area to God as possible. You see, when I was coming up as a kid, our church was in the middle of these projects called Allentown. They don't change the name, but anybody, anybody from the west side of Atlanta, I've been there take it back in or ever, they know about Allentown projects. And that's where, that's where I'm from. So when we were kids, uh, they had this huge gym, like basketball gym. And it had closed down or whatever, so the, our church, they actually bought that gym and turned it into a church. So the church is literally right smack. Like this table right here, this is the church, and this is the rest of the project. So the church was dead shot in the middle? S snap that in the middle. You can't go to church without going through the gates. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that church was a huge pillar of that community. Right. You know what I'm saying? And in that, that same church, I witnessed my mom 
and, and, and she was past the Phillips at the time. And I never forget, man. I'm trying to tell you, I never forget. I was the one, I was the one that ran this I, inside and told my mama it was a man and a bitch. And the man was dead, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, there ain't no doctor, no shit, but he was, he was dead. Man. He was he was dead or uh, comatose. <laughs> he was right. dead. So uh, they come out and they lay hands on him and pray for him. And I swear on everything I love, man. That man started that breathing and got up. And not only did he get up, but he got up and came in church. And he stayed for the church, for the uh, church service. And it was crazy to me because it was like business as usual after he got up. He had like nothing. Hell, not only did he act like nothing happened, everybody else act like it was business as usual. I'm like, yo, this dude was just get, get up on this bitch. Like, I know I'm like seven years old, but still, that shit wasn't supposed to happen. You know what I mean? Like, so I'm like, you know what I mean? And, and, and so, what, oh, check to see what's not but breathing. what that tells me now, the, the past is in my home, mm -hmm. but what that tells me now is that they were such strong believers in prayer that they knew that it wasn't new to them. And then second guess they it. They expected it to happen. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. They expected it to happen. Those the type of Christians I, I'm used to being around, man. You know what I'm saying? Like the ones that that don't have to know you for nothing for me. The ones that you they know you don't like them. They know you don't like them. But they'll come over there, they see you struggling, they'll see you hurting. They'll come over there with a smile on their face and say, I just want to tell you, Jesus loves you, I love you, and I forgive you. Before you say anything, I forgive you. Like, them, yeah. them, the type of, them the type of Christians I came, came up with. Them those are the three people. You feel what I'm saying? So when I speak how I speak on how the church is now, I feel like I got every right to it because I don't see them people no more. Maybe somebody need to open up the museum because it's, or like I told my barber this morning, either all are equipped with books or the good ones just cowards. Because why y'all won't form an alliance or figure out a way to come to the forefront to let the ones know that yo, you know what? We there are those pastors do still exist. We right here. Right. We some jumping jacks. Just set off firecrackers. Hell, I don't give a fuck what you do, but let me know you that you here. Somebody to let us know that y'all still exist. Because until then, y'all bullshit put me in the book. You feel what I'm saying? Because that's all I see. You know what I'm saying? Every time I turn around, you sleeping with me. You sleeping with the woman in the churches. You sleeping with your right hand man or your elder or your deacon or whatever the hell you want to give name you want to give them. You're sleeping with their wives and, and, and right, right in their fucking face and while you counting the tides are off or, or talking about business, but you going home sleeping with this man wife. You know what I'm saying? Or you having babies with the underage girl in your church. Or you sleeping with the little boy. But now nah, you to be preaching so much on homosexuality. But hell, you get poked in the ass every night. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's the type of shit that happens now. You don't hear about the pastors that... And even, even when you do hear good stories about the pastors, or you hear the hype around the pastors, what's it all about? Finances and prosperity. Nigga, don't try to make me feel better about your jet. Yeah, and, and to make you know it, what I'm saying? And to make it don't seem like you get up me. every day and, that's and, your shit. and that's live your life according to the reality. body. Cause I, need, I need to know how to deal with my reality. I don't know. I ain't gonna, as far as I'm concerned, I ain't gonna be filling up nobody's jet no time for this soon. Not right now. Filling up one you can't ride in. Thank you. You feel what I'm saying? So my thing is, don't be talking to me about that, man. You feel, put me in a position to where I can prosper, then talk prosperity to me. Don't leave me in my same fucking environment where I ain't got no resources and they don't give a fuck about us and preach that prosperity shit to me just because you got a jet. And here's the thing about that that I was going to That's say. how I feel about it. You you have them where they... they and I know the Bible front, front and back, so any of y'all pastors that's listening, I love y'all, but I'm telling you, be careful when you come for me. So... Comment, uh, pray about it before you comment because I know the Bible front and back. I was raised by some powerful women of God where I preach to you, talk to me. 
Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I just had love know. Comments. They ain't coming for me. They, they, they coming for you. the comments. They don't. They they, they better not come. They they better not put my my name in the comments. Revelation. I ain't gonna miss a book. A I know. I know. God will forgive me after I cuss their ass the fuck out. I know that. <laughs> Our voice, First Amendment. Amen. Amen. Amen to that. All right. Go ahead. But what I was gonna say that they they actually come out and give this false pretense that they live the word of God every day. Like and, and the Bible tells you that no man is perfect under the sun. Nobody. On that's on a day to day every day basis. On a day to day basis, you cannot get up and tell me you did not sin today. You did not one thing that was sinful or wrong in God's eyes. I can't I believe, don't you, you, believe you, you, that. If you perfect anyway. But you'll get up and say, God bless me to have this jet. From who though? The people that you take it from in the church? Well, let me tell you something about that too, because that's a whole other story too. Christians and people in general, I'm sorry. And I believe, look, I am a believer in God. But listen, look, I ain't giving God all my credit, man. I thank God in part of me busting my ass. Okay, we ain't gonna get on this, but that's that that comment made me think about it because a lot of people, like for example, when you have scientists who busting their ass night and day, studying, crunching numbers, doing science, doing math, trying to figure out cures for certain diseases and illnesses, and they this close or they found something, and then when they do find like uh, a pill for for HIV to help prevent it from increasing on into other stages. The first thing people start yelling out, especially Christians, and they ain't picking on y'all. I'm a Christian. Well, no, I'm I'm, I'm a spiritual. Man. I believe in Christ, but that's what I said. The first thing they said was, uh, they gave out is like God is good. Yeah, God, or, or or Jesus did this, or God did that. No, God didn't do that. God gave that man the ability to do it. But don't don't not get a scientist who done stayed up all night and sacrificed time for their kids and their family. To find this cure, you just overlook all that and just say automatically God did it. No, God ain't do that by Himself. God gave that man the ability. Just like when we mess up, we be like, "Well, God give you a choice." Well, that's just like using a vessel. But but when God, we he but when we like that. yeah, but when we do good, we want to give Him all the praise. But then when we do bad, oh, He gave you a choice. No, well, that's not. Well, I, me, me personally, I don't do that. Did He give me the ability to? Me personally, I don't do that. And like I told you before, we spoke on this, um, not on the podcast, but um, I thank God for everything that I do, right or wrong. Right, I but then am, I give I'm, myself, I give myself credit right after. See, and then I understand that, but me personally, I give honor to God before everything. When I wake up in the morning, I literally sit up and say, thank you, Lord. And if you don't, do that make you a bad person? No, it does not. Okay. Because sometimes it's not when I directly get up. It's going down the road because I forgot. But I promise you, before the day is out, it has no perspective time for me. I say thank you, Lord, because I cannot function without him, right or wrong. Whether I choose to do right all day or what I think is right all day, or whether I choose to curse uh, for whatever reason I feel to do so. All right, listen. I give honor to God listen. every day. Just so I can play devil's advocate. And, and have something to rebut you with, because this don't necessarily mean it's how I feel. But I'm just I like to argue both sides, especially if I see a point on both sides. It's a lot of people out there doing damn good that don't believe in God. So when when I hear people say I can't do nothing without God, do that mean you personally can't do nothing with him, or everybody can't do nothing with him? Because I can have, I can name off. I can name all two, three billionaires off the top of my head right now. And I know good well them some Satanist motherfuckers. Well, guess what? God knew when he when and Answer the question. I am. Do that mean we when people say that? Or when you say that? Can you speak for you? Do does that mean you personally? Or are you speaking for everybody? I can't speak I can never speak for everybody. Okay. And I never will. I will only speak for me. Okay. Me personally. That's why I say right or wrong for me. For me, I can't speak for everybody. That would never happen. Yeah. So, with that being said, when God cast that angel down from heaven, he knew then that everybody that walked this earth 
was not going to be perfect. He knew somebody down here was going to be sinful and a lot of people. If the Bible tells you the spirit does not dwell with you always. That's why he told you, hold on. That's why he told you. But if you call upon my name, he gave you that free will. If you call upon my name, I promise you, that's where your asking, seeking, knocking comes in. You better use those utensils and those verses. Okay, okay, I feel you. I feel you, I feel you, I feel you, and I respect what you said. But what I am saying is, and what anybody that's looking for answers or like kind of on the fence, what you saying ain't going to help them decide or or. Or, or persuade them to come on your side of the fence. Because the first thing I'm going to still say and think is, I wouldn't be trying what about to... those ones? Well, what see, if, guess what? No, That's... no, your job, as a, your job as a soldier in the army of the Lord is to recruit um, his people. And, I, his army. and guess what? So I'm not going to reach being, everybody. But being, but being, With my story and my testimony, it's not going to reach be, everybody. That should be one of your number one. That should be at the top of your list of your mission. Your your daily mission is to save lives. And guess what? And save on my save, delivery right? of me speaking to you and telling you the goodness of Christ and how I've experienced it and my testimonies in my life, if you don't grab hold the way that I deliver it to you, catch the next Christian. Well, see, well, well, then, what, well, what good are you then, though? Like, that's not as helping. long as I get that's, a few. But that's not helping. But what about that few that's lost? That, 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 what about to me? Maybe my, maybe my testimony that. and my way and my deliverance and, and my delivery of how but, I'm telling you but, the goodness of Christ. You didn't grasp that. I agree. I can't help that. But Joe, nope. That's why I disagree. I feel like. How you disagree with that? I, I cannot, feel like I can't make you. Let me show, Let me tell you why. Because I feel like your dismissal of the situation. I didn't dismiss anything. No, you right. didn't grab hold to right, what I right. was saying. And, and, right, but, but check, listen to what I'm saying. How you move on from the situation, let's put it that way. Let me reword it. Your transition mm -hmm. from the situation, catch the next Christian. You think that's going to that's gonna, that's gonna make me want to talk to the next Christian? Well, I would well, guess what? But and I that's, said but that. If that's how you really feel, it's still a problem. It ain't no problem. You yes, better catch is. one. Because you don't want to be lost. No, right. But listen Well, though, just for me not to back it. down from listen that phrase, though, I meant what should, I said. You better catch you the should, next one. You should reject. You should reject a soul the same way you would accept it. What you, you mean reject the soul? You should reject it with love. I would love. never want to not talk never, to you, you whether you agree feel, to you me. You should never feel. Or, you should never have the thought that, oh, well, I couldn't reach it then catch the next one. Like, that shouldn't even be a thought. Well, your guess thought, what? Your thought should be. Let me tell you what your thought should be. No, you can't tell no, me what my thought should no, be. No, yes, I can. No, you, no you. it's your opinion. Well, it's my opinion, but still. Let me tell you what my opinion of what your thought should be. Is that better, Miss G. Wells? Now, better. My opinion, opinion of what your thought should be should be, okay, I can't reach this young man. First thing I'm going to do. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a let minute. Me let me wait finish. a minute. Let me finish. I, you ahead. just asked me what, 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 what you said. Because you, you, so I'm finna you tell took you what I opinion. said. I'm going to tell you what. And no, you no, kind of no. twisted it. But that no, was a thought. No, and I'm going to stand no, on it. No, no, no. no. I meant what, what I, I said. said. Catch this the next anybody. Christian. See, that's what I'm talking about. Let me Catch tell you. the next one. So well, let me tell you what you should be thinking. One that speaks softer. No, 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 no. Listen. This is what should be done. Okay. One and, that and might not curse, because I do. And, and, and all this is being said in your head you. and in your heart. Now, you ain't saying this out loud to this person. But what should happen, or what I think should, should happen in that situation. Yeah, okay, I'll try everything in this situation. I can't reach this person. All right, so now what you should have said, let me tell you my opinion of what I think you should have said. You should have said to yourself. Now you got now, my thoughts. You want, you want to think for me. Well, I said my opinion of what you, what I, yes, yes, of course. No. Yeah, because, because no. I feel like, I feel like. No one can think no, for no, me. No, 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 Because I feel like Christians should be held to a different standard. Just like pastors should be held to a Why? higher standard. Because, because the position that you're in, <coughs> you put in the position of, uh, position of leadership. Okay. And leaders should always be held to a higher standard. And I agree with you on that, but Period. you can't say. Whether that's in employment. But, the works the workspace sports home period the leader should always be held to um 
Yeah. It's just like um in in the ship world or ship industry, boating or whatever. The captain is supposed to never ever abandon the ship. If the ship go down, the captain go down. Could I didn't mean help to a whole nother step. I but just but did let my me part. tell you, but let me tell you what I, I did my part. No, no, but you didn't complete the mint you didn't complete the job. Says who? You did your part halfway. Says who? It says my opinion. So right. let me tell you why. That means But what let me to break me? it down to you though. At least let me break the it down. Because you might agree. Opinion means nothing. But you might agree. So I let said, me tell you. Catch the next Christian. And I And let me that. tell you what you should okay, well let me tell you what I would have said then. That's better? Yes. Okay. This is what I would have said and what she should have said. But what I would have said was to myself, obviously, not outside. Okay. All right. This, this, this man, he, I, can't, I can't do too much of time. Everything he, he just, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm not the one that God has to do this job. But God brought him into my life for a reason. God don't make no mistakes. Hmm. So what can I? Before I just give up on him, what can I do? Alright, so I would have been like, what can I do? Before I just throw him away, what can I do to help? The least I can do is light bulb. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, the least I can do is lead him or guide him in the direction of the person or the next Christian that I'm trying to tell him so rudely to go find. If he already lost and coming to your ass, who was the wrong person, obviously, he probably still gonna be lost when he leave you. So why would you have the thought of go find the next Christian versus come here lost soul, let me lead you to the next Christian that may be able to help you. Because obviously I'm not the one that can do it. But you know what? I'm not gonna give up on you just like God wouldn't give up on me. That's what you should have said, Miss Jewel. Well, first, first of all, Jay would do it. With me saying that, I would have taken all those steps you just spoke about. Well, no, now you want to take the steps. No, step. just you like know a what black mean? woman, boy. Now <laughs> you want to take the steps. Now you want to take the steps. You gonna take one phrase I said? Now and, you want to take the steps. And blow now it out of proportion take because step, I said now catch the next Now she want to take the steps. And I still meant that. Catch it. You See? better catch it. And I can feel the conviction. I can feel it. Because I, I meant it. I know you mean it. I feel it. You trying to say Ooh, it? Ooh, shame hell. on Ain't you. No shame. Catch the next Christian. No. Bet you. No. No, you can't do that because guess what? Yes, I can. Guess what? He'll never. He'll, what I mean by catch, I can take you to it. the Christian. No, you told him to go catch the next Christian. And I'm going to take that him to him to catch. That shoot, fly, get No, away. that is not. Go find somebody that's your that perspective. That's how you took it. So you mean to tell me. What I mean to tell, tell you is. You, if somebody if tell I you cannot catch help the you. Christian, you're going to stand there and wait for me to take I cannot help you. With the no. way the way I experience Christ, the way I experience prayer, the way I experience deliverance, and you can't grasp what I'm saying. But you yes, don't, I, I don't. I'm not going to sit here you, and explain to a Christian. Just I'm not going to explain to a this, pastor every step I take to save a soul, to point, bring to Christ. But, I'm not going to do that. But you don't give up. God on knows my heart. Give up on catch me. the next no, Christian. No, that's that's not. See, that's why, and that's why most of them don't never catch the next Christian or care to. Guess what? For real, that's I'm the gonna problem. I'm going to do my part. That's the problem. I'm going to do my part. That's why Christians have gotten such a, I'm sorry bad, that. a bad name. And I'm sorry to hear that. Because that ain't, if, if Jesus felt like that, man, he'd be like, man, get me out of the goddamn cross. I ain't dying for these ragged-ass, non-believing-ass people. That's exactly what he would have said if he had that thought. Let, let them catch the net and save Well, I really thank God. No, 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 really no, God no. That's, exactly that. that's exactly no, what you said. That's not what I said. That's, that's, exactly, what, that's exactly what you're saying. No, it's not. See, it's, it's that's how you take what it. You're saying. It's exactly what that's you're saying. If take Jesus would have had that go find the net savior attitude, based on our beliefs, guess what? We wouldn't be here, right? Y'all comment in the cause we go. We gonna cut this short. Cause we go, but it's gonna be a part two, probably part three. And, and after the pastors get involved, come in private part four, five, and inf infinity. Infinity. I said that right. Infinity. Infinity. Yeah. Oh boy, somebody hot. Here, here, here. You ain't gonna take what I said. No, I it. know what you said, but look, y'all comment. Y'all tell me who y'all agree with. Y'all agree with his side 
or her side. You either gonna his agree with his side or her side. because of his the way side that I said or her side. And I don't know. Y'all just that. let me know I ain't mad at in the comments. I bet you ain't mad at Please comment and please let us know if you would like for us to touch on this topic and extend it a little further. But we got most things we wanna talk about. We'll holler at y'all later, man. We'll see y'all next time. Everybody talk and everybody listen, but somehow the truth comes up missing. Everybody talk and everybody listen, but somehow the truth comes up.